here's a guy that was uh, inside a corporation and he looked out the window and said, wait a minute, I don't see poor people, I see me, I see my people and, and I need to get in to the fabric of that and make life better for people, uh, not just for myself. And that, that fundamental drive in terms of uh, what drives him and then what drives the organization is huge. So I, I don't consider the BRAC has changed Bangladesh. It's the poor people that we helped change Bangladesh. One of the most compelling things about BRAC is that it is the world's largest NGO that nobody's ever heard of. And that's in part due to, I think, the the conviction and the humility, because it's really just on the ground getting the work done. BRAC has a quality about it that is rare amongst organizations, not only of its size, but just in general. I have never seen an organization as well run as uh, BRAC. BRAC has a deep integrity in their work and being data-driven, thoughtful, and really iterating so that they improve over time. But they learn and they're able to discard things that don't work and expand the things that work. It's remarkable how infrequent that is with many organizations. When BRAC does something, they're doing something on a scale. They're not talking about doing you know, 200, 300 people. They're talking about doing 10,000, 30,000, 40,000. You can impact an entire country. I can't think of a better organization in which to put in funds. We don't feel there's many other organizations out there that can make as big an impact for the dollar that you invest. The individual donor can really feel a true impact in the funds that they give to BRAC. It's an obvious choice to support BRAC because they really, frankly, they just know what they're doing and they've been doing it a long time.